City. In Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen, Janice Lynn and John McCook. Shines on you. Don't stare at it too long. When the music starts to play, don't analyze the song. Don't ask me any questions. Make me play the game. Just lay back in the not what you've read about in movie magazines. I love you with no conditions. That's what love means. Starring Michael Lewis. <laughs> Special guest star, Mary Stewart. talk about what are we gonna say what are we gonna tell the people we shouldn't sit here giggling and grinning no nope. well i guess we'd better start at the beginning i was born in texas i'm from oklahoma i'm from california washington dc but we all have an awful lot in common once there was some now we're for who work in showbiz. Moved to Louisiana. Went to old New Jersey. Up to Hollywood. And flew to NYC. It's amazing the way you have to travel to find the job you love. At first I worked in motion pictures to study for the opera. Got in West Side Story. Played guitar and said. Then I was signed by Universal. Worked in 40 carats. To television, been the biggest thrill I know, working in a Broadway show. Now we're young and restless, searching for tomorrow, looking for that rainbow, reaching for a star. And we all had a lot of roads to travel. been just a series of classes and lessons tons of lessons first i studied piano then trained my soprano but opera was my choice <laughs> acting with my voice somehow choices changed and broadway seemed brighter and mercifully lighter dancing steady dancing Always tapping and turning and learning the basics of acting. Studied acting, 
there is no doubt about it you're nothing without it the money you can earn triples when you learn lessons lots of lessons lots of lessons it's my life doing two things at once, two things at once, like singing while I play piano, somehow inadvertently the best of my stunts was doing two things at once. I got a part in Oklahoma and it was grand, but somehow the band was looking for a new conductor, so I tried to double, but I looked like a dunce. Doing two things at once Like singing I'm wild for singing At the same time I'm attracted By the fact that I have acted So it's acting That keeps me swinging But I have to wonder whether I can do it All together One time I was under contract to a studio's off He'd make me a star But then the army came to charm me So I joined an army band For quite a few months Doing two things at once I've been a husband and a father To pianist and conductor To an actor and a singer And a person who is busy Always doing two things, three things Four things, five things Six things at once Doing two things at once Nobody told me I couldn't do it Nobody warned me, don't try So I went charging into the office Telling the agent I am your guy Sometimes it worked and sometimes it didn't Nobody told me, get out I was determined, nothing could stop me Never a worry and never a doubt Although I tried to hurry the process I tried to wait my turn One thing's for sure in this crazy business You have to live and learn Stood on a corner singing for strangers Flew off to Europe to work Got in a movie Tried out for Broadway, Christmas at Macy's, look who's the clerk. Oh, when there's no fear of hurt or rejection, you gotta take it slow. Cause nobody told me, nobody stopped me, nobody told me, no. I've always had dumb luck But then you gotta have some luck To make it at all One day I'm standing there When the Stella put me in a movie Next day Another fella said I've got a strong suspicion You should be in television So I tried it and 25 later I'm still in television Love it I'm having a ball Love can be fabulous If you just relax and let it come And dumb luck Ain't really so And 
this Texas ditty's a camera girl in New York City. Then Joseph passed her an accent I could make it out in Hollywood. Acting class was Sid Charisse, Elizabeth Taylor, and Janet Lee. Had a strong suspicion I should be in television, so I tried it. And 25 later years, that is, love it. I'm having a ball. Love can be fabulous if you just relax and let it come. And don't want this. Ain't really so. I'm still very lucky. No one ever told me. Still DC. And we all had a lot of roads to travel. Come in this far. We all had an awful lot in common. And here we And ready, we're Here equal to the, the task. Come on, someone ask questions. Any questions? Any questions at all? Good. I have a question for Mary. Yes, sir. Uh, do you think that TV love stories? Are true to life, or are they Are the stories sacrificed to meet the schedule? I don't think they're sacrificed to meet a schedule. Uh, I think everything is true to life. There's more goes on in real life than we would dare put on television, or we would even think of. Uh, it's happened to somebody, uh, or the writers wouldn't think of it. You know, it's, it's come across. Stories kind of come out of the characters. They sort of happen. They're not just laid on top of the. At least that's the way I feel about it. I was this is from Mark and Mary. How old are you? I'm 30. Are you really? I really am. <laughs> yeah. Is that okay with you? What? Is that okay with you? Yeah, sorry. Uh, how old are you? Can, you? can you give me a little kiss? Sorry? Can you give me a little kiss? Can I give you a little kiss? <laughs> <laughs> oh, everybody's saying go ahead. Come on, come on. What prompted you to get involved in acting, and do you t intend to keep in, in the acting field or in, go into other fields? Is that for me? Yes. There was just <laughs> never anything else to do. <laughs> and I don't know how to do anything else. No, I just always wanted to be a performer. And uh, yes, I intend to stay forever. I, I can't do anything else. <laughs> I once tried to wait on tables, but I dropped coffee on people and things like that, and it doesn't work out very well. Was that you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are there any similarities in your real life with Lance Prentice? What similarities exist? Uh, we look a lot alike, and that's about it. <laughs> that's really about it. Is, is he really a connoisseur of the arts? I mean, yes, he things. really is, and I'm a lot sillier than he is. He's not nearly as silly as I am. <laughs> I'm a lot sillier than he is. Your mother doesn't wear a veil, does she? No, and my mother's sitting right back there, and she's not wearing a veil. Where is she? She's back there, and I wanted her to come to show her that the piano lessons paid off. There she is. That's hey, my mother. Business. 
Have I been in show business? Uh, I made my debut at the age of nine, standing up in front of the Duke Ellington Band. By mistake, I'd won a contest, that I got and I got nine dollars, and I got to come back on Saturday and sing in front of the band, and it just happened to be Ellington, and I happened to be singing Mood Indigo. And then I went on the road with Bob Wills, this Texas Playboys from the song when I was 12. Uh, and I'm not gonna tell you how long that is. <laughs> you had to tell him one or the other. <laughs> Rock songs or love songs? <laughs> uh, I love love songs, but I sure love to get down and get funky too. Hey. <laughs> it's fun to do love songs uh, rock wise too. <laughs> You'd think that people would have had enough of silly love songs. Now, John, uh, do that again, and let me try just speaking that first phrase. You'd think that people would have had enough of silly love songs, you know? But I look around me and I see it isn't so, no. Some people want to fill the world with silly love songs. But what's wrong with that? I guess it's so Cause here we go It doesn't come at all But I guess that when you're in it It isn't silly No, it isn't silly Love isn't silly At all Love is too 